The University of Missouri Research Reactor is the largest reactor at any university in the United States. Its fundamental mission is research and education in fields ranging from anthropology to zoology. The University of Missouri Research Reactor has a long history in developing uh, radiopharmaceuticals for both imaging and treating cancer. Our goal is to develop the next generation of precision medicine treatments for uh, seeing how an individual would respond to a, a state-of-the-art cancer treatment using radioisotopes produced here at the reactor. MER has over a 40-year history in working with industry to bring radiopharmaceuticals to market. The three examples of our successes, uh, one is a drug called Ceratec, which uses the isotope Technetium 99M as a way to image the uh, blood flow in your brain. The second is a treatment for inoperable liver cancer. Uh, the product name is Therosphere. The third example is Quadramet, and Quadramet was developed in collaboration with Dow Chemical, and it's a treatment for the excruciating pain of metastatic bone cancer. The University of Missouri Research Reactor is a 10 megawatt reactor facility, and our reactor is unique because it's the most powerful among the dozens of research reactors that are located on university campuses throughout the United States. Our reliable operating schedule of six and a half days every week all throughout the year also sets us apart. We are trying to develop a molecular vehicle, if you will, that is injected intravenously that will selectively target the expression of receptors on the surfaces of cancer cells with minimal or collateral uptake in normal tissue as to deliver a high uh, diagnostic load for a uh, high quality, high contrast molecular image or, for example, uh, a high therapeutic load in terms of a high energy electron for treatment. The newest targeted radiotherapy drug on the market has uh, as part of it a peptide that when we inject it into your bloodstream, it seeks out selectively the cancer cells, in this case cancer cells from neuroendocrine tumors. The radioisotope is lutetium-177. Lutetium-177 is uh, it's a really exciting radioisotope with a lot of beneficial properties. It's special in that it has a, about a seven day half-life which is short enough to be beneficial to patients, um, but it's long enough that we can ship it uh, overseas and seven days later, it's still really useful. MER has been involved with Lutetium-177 for roughly 15 years. MER is actually the sole provider of Lutetium-177 in the U.S. We expect to see over 50,000 new cases of thyroid cancer in the U.S. this year and we'll be able to make an impact by ensuring that these patients have the life-saving radioisotopes they need when they need them. Iodine-131 is a radioisotope that's used primarily to treat hyperthyroidism and thyroid cancer. It's special because it can be administered orally and still be taken up into the thyroid to destroy any problematic cells. Murr decided to enter the market when we learned that a reactor in Canada that had been supplying I-131 was shutting down. So this gave us an opportunity to meet the needs of patients. Until our first shipments in 2018, patients here in the U.S. had been relying solely on imported I-131. And MER is really special because we are not only the only supplier in the U.S., we are the only supplier in North America. I don't think that a lot of people realize that the University of Missouri Research Reactor is a resource. In the future of, of uh, nuclear medicine uh, and precision medicine, um, we see the University of Missouri Research Reactor contributing the short-lived radioisotopes that provide the therapeutic dose for that patient. And because of the way that those isotopes are typically made, the research reactor here at the University of Missouri is an ideal source for making that material. 